guys so i just wanted to give a little bit of a rundown before i get into the video because i do want to make it like montage style basically i did a healthy habits video like a few months ago and since then like recently i've just been falling off the bandwagon meaning like i've i don't know i've just been in a little bit of a rut i feel like and i just wanted to get my healthy habits back on track i didn't do like the exact same things that i did in the last video but i just kind of adjusted it to what my body and you know what i wanted now so in this video that's what it's going to be it's going to be me trying to be on a grind and trying to get shit done and take care of myself you know to make time for myself to move my body make time for my mental health and yeah so a part of my healthy habits um i'm going to be journaling every single morning and more kind of like a self-love journal and that leads me to today's sponsor which is switch their self-love journal i want to do more journaling and more like self-help journaling more self-love journaling because i journal on a daily not daily basis but like i just like journal put my thoughts down but i don't really have anything that's guided you know what i mean like nothing that's guided i just kind of free for all it if that even makes sense but i want but i wanted something that's more guided they're self-love journal literally aligned perfectly with like what i want to preach you guys and what i love doing so they have a self-love journal and i'm so literally so excited to share this with you guys because i haven't found like a journal like this before i don't know this is like so perfect so basically it's a 13 week journal and it's a guide to exploring the fundamentals of self-compassion common humanity and mindfulness it's literally full of guided journal prompts that are going to help you get rid of like negative thought patterns you know like we have so so many negative thought patterns that like you don't you don't really realize that you have until you really like sit down and like reflect on it um because it's like literally in your subconscious and you're not like you're not really aware of it but it can reflect on other parts of your life so anyways, I'm just going to show you guys the journal so you can get a better idea of what it is. You open it up, the cover is really so cute, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a journal overview. And then it says, part one, exploring the fundamentals of self-compassion, part two, expanding your self-compassion, and part three, ext establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle. So it kind of breaks down all of the chapters and everything. Week one is the little theme is self-kindness. And as you can see, there's also a daily intention in each one. Yeah, so this is a total of 32 weeks in here. So that is 91 days. Yeah, I just feel like journaling is so important because sometimes you have these negative thought patterns or whatever it is in the back of your head and your subconscious and you don't realize it and they can be creating things in your life like negative thoughts. You may be confused like why am I always thinking negatively about this and journaling with something like this is gonna help you kind of uncover that and dig deep and remove those negative thought patterns as I was saying. But if you guys want to purchase one, I will have a link in my description and I'm pretty sure they're giving you guys 15% off. So you can use the code Michaela15 for 15% off if you guys want to buy one. And yeah, of course the links will be in the description. Yeah, thank you so much to Switch um, for sponsoring this video. I'll update you guys along the way.
Okay, so I've been using this in my smoothies uh, lately and I really, really love it. Um, this is the brand and it's just collagen and green. So it has like a bunch of collagen in it. And then here I'll actually show you guys the ingredients. So it has collagen, wheatgrass, spinach, kale, spirulina, which is awesome because then it's like you're getting collagen in and you're freaking getting a whole bunch of greens in. So this is a brand. I just got it at Superstore in their health section. Um, yeah, I really love it. But they also sell a lot of different brands that are like similar to this. But yeah, it's perfect for adding into smoothies. <music> Welcome to another Healthy Habits Day. I'm supposed to be getting my period soon and I was like, please don't come while I'm doing this week of Healthy Habits so I can finish the five days because if it comes, then it's gonna ruin at least like one day, maybe two. So let's just pray that it holds off for another three days. I really hope so. Anyways, it is cold. Like, it is really cold. Yesterday at soccer, I, like, kind of hurt my calf muscle and my growing and all in my right leg. So, I'm just going to take it easy today at the gym and just try and avoid those muscles as much as possible. But this morning, you guys, I wasn't even tired when I woke up. Like, it felt like it was, like, later than it was, which is good. But, like, I honestly just realized that I can't wake up. I'm not a morning person. Like... I can try as much as I want, but my body will feel nauseous. Like, if I wake up too early, I feel nauseous. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, if it's a mental thing or a physical thing. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel nauseous when I wake up too early. And I don't know. Like, I feel like I might just have to train my body if I want to wake up that early. But, like, I'm just so lucky that i get to wake up kind of whenever i want and obviously i'm not gonna like sleep in every day because i feel like sleeping in is i want to keep that for more of the weekends but um setting like a decent mid time where it's not like the crack of ass dawn and it's not like late morning is like a perfect medium for me like eight o'clock is like a perfect medium for me seven is pushing it sometimes for film industry i have to wake up at like 4 a.m one time i have to wake up at like 2 45 a.m 3 a.m and that in that situation it's fine because i like know that i need to get up for something like i need i can't be late and i do still feel nauseous though like of when I wake up I'll feel fine and then like driving there one time I was like literally about to puke but like in terms of like me working from home my body is just like no like no you have the choice you can rearrange your schedule so you don't need to wake up at 6 a.m. Uh, so I don't know just for the stage of my life. It's just not it It's just not it to wake up at the ass crack of dawn And I really really like it props to those girls who can do that But I also feel like I'm just gonna listen to my body because that's not for me right now And that is okay and that goes for everything like if some if you see something on social media that looks like super productive And is deems deemed as like super productive and you can only you're only gonna be productive if you do this blah 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 Like that's not for everybody like you've got to really like tune into your body and like see like everybody's chemistry body chemistry is different and you just got to tune into what's gonna work for you and waking up at the ass crack of dawn at 5 a.m is just not for me so we ruled that out i literally like set my alarms and i just couldn't do it anyways let's go to the gym um i'm gonna take it easy today but still gonna do like so I'm gonna do a little bit of 12, 3.30 and we'll see it is another gloomy day which is fine I just can't wait till the like, summer and the nice weather. Like it's gonna be so nice.
you guys so at the grocery store i picked up some kale some swiss chard and then we already had carrots and apples at home and cucumbers so i'm going to make a juice because in my last resets video i made a green juice every single day but i thought that that was a little bit too much for me just because it's like first of all very time consuming and second of all buying the organic vegetables can be very expensive so i decided on i feel like going forward um once a week is enough and i honestly think that even if you're getting in like a good amount of greens once a week you mean you make a point of it it still will give you your body those nutrients and it's not something that like i'm gonna be doing every single day anymore um, because i just feel like that is very unrealistic so so yeah i'm just gonna wash everything and then cut and then get juicing i'm gonna try and do it as fast as possible okay so here's everything washed and cut up i'm gonna maybe need to do more carrots or apples just because there is so much like greens and you want it to be nice and sweet so we'll see <laughs> So this is how much it made. I got a big mason jar and then I'm just going to drink this little one now. I just tasted it and it is very potent. Like this is probably the strongest one I've ever made. I definitely could have added more apples or carrots, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to drink it strong. Like look at that green color. It's very green. But anyways, this green juice always just makes me feel so healthy. So yeah, having a green juice makes me feel really healthy and something that I want to still do, just not as often because every day is a little bit much. Buying one versus making one at home, like buying green juice is a lot more expensive, so making it yourself is like good and you know what you're putting in it too, so it's not like preservatives. Mm -hmm. 